Hey team, Christina Munoz back again and this time I'm going to record a training video that's going to show you how to tidy up your GVO follow-ups and test your sales funnel, okay? And this is a process you can use for every single sales funnel that you set up, okay? And um, not only that, I'm going to show you how you can look more professional in your follow-ups as well rather than just running with them as they are. Okay, because if you're going to get yourself some done for you traffic, the moment you start driving traffic to your lead capture page or any of your lead capture pages and people start entering your list, you want to make sure that your follow ups are going through presenting you as professionally as, bot as possible. So, taking that extra step to tidy up your follow ups and test your system and making sure you've got do a domain and subdomains done for your long links as well is going to make all the difference in the world. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Now, the first thing is you need to, have course, set up your autoresponder. So what you want to do is go into your prosperity team back office and in start here, the first thing I want to double check that you have done is under get set up, autoresponder. Okay. I'll just stop at him there. You want to have signed up for your GVO and then put your GVO username there and saved it, okay? Once you've saved it, it means when your team starts going through this process, they're going to join GVO through you and get your, your their autoresponder through you. So eventually it's going to be build a bit of a passive income stream there that will pay for your autoresponder every month, maybe give you a little bit of extra cash for advertising. <coughs> now, if you're an experienced marketer who uses Aweber or GetResponse, the systems can be connected with Aweber and GetResponse and you know what to do, okay? You don't even need to watch this video. If, if you're an experienced marketer who's been building lists, you know what to do. Just go ahead and do what you do, okay? But for those of you who have never built a list before, keep it simple, okay? I recommend using GVO for all the reasons Adam says here, but mainly because all the training is in GVO, it's cheaper, it's only $9.95, okay, <coughs> and all the training is GVO related, okay. So you want to make life simple, just use GVO for your autoresponder, don't worry about Aweber and GetResponse unless you've already used them before, okay. I use Aweber, I also have GVO, okay, but I prefer to use Aweber, so I've been using Aweber, but hey, I've invested hundreds and hundreds of hours learning how to use Aweber. It is far more complicated than GVO to learn how to use too. So I would not go there if you've never used it before. Keep it simple. Get yourself set up with GVO. Okay, so once you've signed up for your GVO, then the next thing is setting up your sales funnels. Now, the beautiful thing is, is you don't have to create any of your own sales funnels. They're already created for you. You also don't have to create any of your own follow-ups. For every single sales funnel that we have, and at the moment, we've got a Prosperity Team sales funnel, a Pizza Boy one, our iPass kit systems coming, the lead capture pages are coming this week. So by the time you're watching this, that might be already ready to go too. And we've got our Empower Network funnel. Okay, so you've got four different sales funnels that you can use. And every single sales funnel comes with its own set of follow-up messages. Okay, so you'll end up having four different campaigns in your GVO. Okay, now what I would do if I were you, I would keep it really simple and set up one at a time. And the first one I would set up would be your prosperity team system. And the reason why is the prosperity team system works great with cold traffic. That means when you're ready to buy your done for you traffic, which is cold traffic, that's the system you'll want to send it to. Okay, if you are an iPass Black member, and that means you're all in and you're an iPass Black member, when the iPass kit system is available, it's probably already is now, well then I would set up the iPass kit system first, if it's ready now, the lead capture pages and everything. Okay, set that up first, okay, and you want to buy traffic for your iPass kit system. Okay, but if you're not qualified for the iPass kit system, um, get it set up your prosperity team one first but you want to really set them all up okay so you've got that variety and you can use all of them because the pizza boy for example <coughs> is great for your warm market if you have someone on FB or someone you know wanting more information you can share your pizza boy with them okay the empower network sales funnel is fantastic I used it up until I joined you know the prosperity team and we had the prosperity team system 
However, what I do now is I keep my Empower Network system just for my blogging. So I don't actively promote my Empower Network lead capture pages anymore. And the reason why is anytime I get anybody through my Empower Network lead capture pages, I know it's come from my blog. So it gives me an idea of how many leads I'm getting from my blog. Okay, so I actually, uh, you know, go ahead and set that up, but I would make the Empower Network the last one that you set up because your Empower Network system is already working. The minute you activate your viral blogging package and your affiliate status, uh, your system is working. So if anybody was to come in through your blog, they'll actually be in your back office. I'll show you. Okay, I'll just log into my back office now. Give me a second. My back office is here. I'm doing this live. I just want to show you. Your Empower Network system is here. I'll just go into My Tools Lead Capture. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, we have to log in again. No worries. Alrighty, logging in again. My Tools Lead Capture. Okay. Your Lead Capture page is here. So what will happen is through your blog, and I'll just go to the blog now just so you can see what I'm saying. Okay. I'll go to my blog now. When you're doing your blogging, when you get traffic to your blog, your blog banners have been optimized to go to your Empower Network almost a secret page. Okay? So if someone clicks on the banner like that I'm about to do now, it'll take them to the almost a secret page. Then if they enter your system, okay, you'll actually see them in here. See all leads. Okay? <laughs> They'll go in there. So really, until you're getting about five leads a day from your blogging coming into your system, I wouldn't worry about connecting GVO and having to fix your follow-ups or anything like that because Dave and Dave will actually broadcast to your leads and follow up for you. So unless you're getting a stack of leads in here, don't. And if you're going to be not actively promoting your Empower Network lead capture pages because you're going to be promoting uh, team sales funnels, I mean, I suggest you do that because that's fantastic. You can do what I'm doing and keep your Empower Network ones just there so you know what's coming in from your blog and you get an email to let you know so you know that if someone's gone in there, it's come from your blog. And if your blogging starts to generate five leads a day, then go to the trouble to connect your GVO and set up your list there. But for now, if I were you, I would only set up the Prosperity Team Funnels, which is your Prosperity Team, Pizza Boy, and if you're qualified, your iPass Kit System. Okay, so... You would have watched Adam's video that shows you exactly what to do to set up your prosperity team system with GVO. Okay, so you should have done that. If you haven't, watch that video, follow the steps. <coughs> now, once you have done that, what do you do next? Okay, well now you want to get your, your follow-ups nice and tidy and you want to get presented professionally. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to show you where your marketing sales funnels are, where your links are for the prosperity team system okay because you're going to need them you want to go into marketing center sales funnels and once I show you how to do this for the prosperity team system you can do this with every funnel that you're setting up okay so what we're going to do here is open up the prosperity team system and over here you're going to see the Adam Whiting high cap converting capture page and the Adam Whiting landing high converting they're the ones I want you to use okay the old ones are here, but use the high converting. So what you want to do is get yourself nice and organized. You want to get organized before you start tidying up your follow-ups. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is select your lead capture page link. And this is actually what you would direct your traffic to. So when you're doing your own marketing, okay, marketing on Facebook groups or as you'll be taught in your 15K and through all our training and so on, you would market your lead capture page link. But you wouldn't market this long, ugly link, okay? You're going to get a domain for it, and I'll talk about that in a second. But basically what you want to do is get yourself organized and have like prosperity system in a text doc and then put your high converting lead capture page link is. I'm going to get rid of mine here. Okay. And there it is. You don't need the equals tag thing. It's not necessary. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do, instead of marketing this long ugly link, it's a good idea to register a domain. Like I've got the winningstartshere.com, which I have forwarding, redirecting to my high converting lead capture page link. 
okay so when i mark it i mark it this http www.thewinningstartshere.com rather than this long ugly link i look more professional when i do that okay so what you're going to want to do is register a domain name and i'm going to tell you where you go to do that okay so for now i just want you to get <laughs> get yourself organized and copy your high converting lead capture page link there and call it high converting lead capture page link is there next you want to go and get your landing page link okay you want your high converting one all right again select control c to copy go back to your little text stock all right and then you want to paste it so i've got high converting landing page link it's this one here i've already done it but i'm going to show you again okay boom i don't need that little end there that's there for tracking but it actually doesn't work so there's no point having it okay <coughs> and that's there now the landing page what happens is once someone goes into your uh, lead capture page they're going to get redirected to the landing page to watch adam's video okay and that landing page link is going to be all through your follow-ups and if someone's using texts some people don't all have html they're going to see this long ugly link okay that doesn't look very professional to me you're better off once you've got a domain name creating a subdomain for it okay so for example what's a subdomain well i've registered the winning starts here.com that goes to my lead capture page link then all you do is create a subdomain for it and when you register a .com you can get 99 subdomains for free as part of it so you don't have to get more domains okay then all you do is call, call it video.thewinningstartshere.com so what you want to want to do first before you even get to adjusting your follow-ups is you want to think about a short snappy easy to remember domain name that's um, generic okay because if the lead capture page link ever changes you want it to still make sense <coughs> It also means if a lead capture page ever changes, okay, you don't have to update, you know, all your ads or anything. You can just go into GoDaddy or the Prosperity Team domain area and change the redirection there, okay. Now, if you know how to use GoDaddy, I've used GoDaddy for years. You can register a go domain with GoDaddy and you get subdomains there for free and you know what to do. Just do that, okay, make your life simple. If you've never registered domains before well the prosperity team makes it simple for you so what you're going to want to do is go into your prosperity team side again go into training center okay go into basic then if you scroll down you're going to see get your own unique domain name okay so you might want to pause this video and then do this and come back okay so what you want to do is register a domain name a dot com never register a dot info dot net dot it whatever unless you own the dot com okay so maybe write down some ideas something short and snappy easy to remember it could be tom's online cash dot com or, or anything you just something obviously about making money but make it generic okay make your boss cry dot com is one that i've had for years something generic you can write down some ideas <coughs> and you can get a domain here with the prosperity domains for 9.99 so it's a bit similar to godaddy and you don't need hosting don't need any of the bells and whistles you're going to get the ability to forward or redirect your domain for free and you'll also be able to create subdomains get up to 99 subdomains created as well so this video here shows you how to register for a domain and and mask it and forward it okay so what you want to do is register a dot com and then you're gonna then once you've watched that video and done that go to your little notepad and then redirect it to your long high converting lead capture page link okay so when you've got your domain whatever dot com you're going to follow the video instructions to then redirect it and mask it to your high converting lead capture page once you've done that okay then you've got to go back into this area again it's in marketing center under basic get your own unique domain name then you're going to watch the video about using subdomains in your marketing this video here and it's going to show you how to create a subdomain so if you had tomscash.com 
You can then create a subdomain called video.tomscash.com, okay? And then just like I did over here, once you've created your subdomain, it's going to ask you where do you want to redirect it. You're going to get copy your long landing page link and redirect it to that, okay? So for example, my subdomain here would be video the winning starts here.com. I've actually got something different, but that's to give you an idea. Okay, now once you have the redirection through, you've done that, you've got your domain, you've created your subdomain to go to your landing page. So, what do you think? Would you rather have this long link all through your follow ups or video.thewinningstartshere.com? That looks far more, uh, far more professional. Not only that, throughout your follow-ups you might want to be sending people to your join page where they can just join you directly so it's a good idea to create another subdomain doesn't cost you anything remember you can have up to 99 of them okay and maybe call it join dot the winning starts here dot com you know i've got it under my christina munoz info i've got lots of domains but if you never had them you only need the one only cost you 9.99 and you can then create a bunch of subdomains under it to go to whatever links you want to so a good one to do is for your join link as well this long link here create a subdomain for that too so you're nice and professional well once you've got your dot com once you've got your subdomain for your landing page and subdomain for your join link all sorted okay then you're ready to start tidying up your follow-ups okay now you would have already if i go back here <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just having a coffee. You would have already, if you followed Adam's instructions to the letter, connected your system to your GVO. Okay? Should already be connected. So you should be at this stage, you should have had GVO selected and your campaign, it was prosperity formula there, and you would have saved your campaign. It should already be done. You should be at this stage. If you're not, watch this video. Okay? Again, I've used Aweber for years, so I'm using Aweber. If you're using Aweber, you can. That's why you've got a choice. But if you've never used anything before and you need help, keep a GVO because all the training's in GVO, like I said. All right, now I'm going to show you what you do to tidy up your follow-ups. And then once you've tidied up your first follow-up, okay, then you want to test it, make sure it looks right. You better to get your first one right before you start doing them all in case you're out of whack with any of them. Okay, so here's some tips. What you want to do is go into your... Where are we? Login into your GVO. Now we're going to have some fun. Now once you've tidied up your follow-ups, that's it, it's done. And you tested your system, that's it, your setup is done. Okay. Really the hard work has been done, the sites have been created for you, the follow-ups have been created for you. All you're doing here is tidying things up and getting yourself to look really professional so you stand out. I want to see you make as much money as possible here, so that's why I want to teach you this. Okay, so you log in. <coughs> I'm logging in now and you want to go to your autoresponder and your autoresponder may be up there or if it's older it'll be down here now once you're in your autoresponder section to get to your follow-ups you should have your campaign there if you followed things to get to your follow-ups you just go messages and you'll see all your follow-ups there okay all your follow-ups there all right well what I want to do first is go back to campaigns because Adam would have shown you to adjust the global fields. So I want you to go into global fields, campaigns, global fields, okay, and get rid of what you put there. <laughs> I'm serious, okay. This is only relevant because your signature is not going to look sexy if you have what's in there. It won't come out right. It'll all go in one line. I know, I tested it. Okay. Plus, with your global field one, that's only relevant if you're going to have the long link everywhere. Okay, if you want the long link everywhere, you'd keep that. But because you're going to use your subdomain that you created to redirect and you're going to make your follow ups look pretty, you don't need global fields. So get rid of it. Okay. All right. Then you want to scroll down and update. Okay. Let me just make sure I haven't missed anything. We're done. Update. So you want to get rid of all that first. Okay. The other thing you want to do is where is it? Um, let me have a little look. 
I'll just see if I can find where it is. Okay, custom fields. I think it's in there. No, just give me a second, just gonna have a look. Really, you know, don't feel. Look, I've used Aweber for years. GBA is quite new to me. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just trying to find where it is. But everything's pretty straightforward, really. It's common sense. Once you, you don't be afraid to click on things and learn. Okay, that's where you go to get it. Um, where are we? Forms. It's when you were setting up your campaign. It's to tick to make sure you're notified when someone enters your list. Campaigns. Stats, maybe? No. Hmm. Subscribers. Let's have a little look. Okay. Let's have a little look. Uh, tracking list, 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 list. Was well, this is good for you to see? Because here I am, I'm figuring figuring this out. Let's see, custom fields. It's global fields. Maybe they've removed it. Okay. In your global fields, it must be automatic now. There used to be a thing notify me when I have a subscriber. So that must be gone now. Because for memory, that was there. Okay. Well, anyway, you want to get rid of everything there. But if by chance yours says notify me of subscriber, make sure you tick that box. <laughs> All right. Now what you want to do is go in and edit your messages. Okay. Right. Now something I want to check here because I'm sure it's fine. No, you don't need to have that, so we're light. You don't need to have double up opt-ins. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay, back back into messages. Okay, just having a little play here. <coughs> okay, what you want to do is now you want to tidy up your, your follow-up messages. Okay, so what you can do, because you're going to have a number of them, is maybe have five of them ready to go. You know, one, two, three, four, five, where you know they're perfect and ready to go. And then you can order some done for you traffic and start getting some leads after you tested the system. Okay, and then what you can do is just every day tidy up a couple more, you know, so you're not pulling your hair out, having to tidy them all up at once. Like, for example, I'm in the process at the moment of um, tidying up my <coughs> iPass BizKit system. I'm using Aweber. I've still got traffic coming into it, okay, and I've, I've updated 10 of them and I've got another 10 more to update. Okay, that's all right. Once you've updated them, you're fine. So you can do the same thing with your GVO. Okay, so to give you an example, when you get the emails or when you've loaded them up, they're going to look a bit like this. Let me pick one. This one here I haven't updated yet. This is Aweber, but it looks pretty much the same. Okay, it's going to look like that. You know, long link with your global link, you know, yuck, signature. There is nothing professional or nice that's going to make you stand out, you know. The formatting is too long and all of that, okay. So you're going to want to tidy it up and want to make it look professional, okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you have a look at this, I'll show you how I've fixed one up so you see what I'm saying. All long Look, doesn't have any photo or anything. And look at this, all these long links everywhere. Okay, let me show you what one looks like that I've fixed up, just so you can see. Okay, um, where's one? Erica, we'll do the Erica one. Okay, you'll see this when, you, when you're a black member and can load them up. Look at this. Okay, how much better does that look? All hyperlinked my name okay properly even got a photo of erica and i your ipass partner far more professional that's how it will come out on the other end and even <coughs> with my text it's not all long all the way i've got a subdomain for the page see i went and created subdomains for the long links i didn't want that long link to show up the signature will come through properly with aweber it doesn't in gbo so that's why i've got my signature there 
but as you can see I've taken the care myself to register subdomains to go to the long link so everything looks nice and professional now I want to teach you how to do the same thing because if you take that care it makes all the difference in the world so if I go into GVO to go ahead and tidy up your follow-ups okay you just go here you've got edit test insert after delete you'll never need to use insert after really but what you want to do is go into edit now remember you remove global fields and everything okay so now now what I want you to do is you're gonna see that and I've already tidied mine up because <laughs> I was using it in the beginning but I just went back to Aweber Aweber okay I just prefer it so you can see I put my photo and everything in there okay well here's a few little tips and I've included this in a, another video as well about how to update so anywhere you see a hyperlink okay you want to go to your okay your high converting landing page link and obviously your subdomain that you created for it okay so if it's that you would copy it now for me I've created I used a spare domain for my landing page that I had which is called 1000 per day webinar webinar.com so that's what I have going to my high converting lead capture page but you would just select your <coughs> your one okay your subdomain that might be video whatever your .com is then what you're going to want to do is tidy it up so if it's all long like this okay you want to make it easy to read so you just go shift enter we'll go one line wherever you see a hyperlink you want to select it go to the anchor insert edit link okay then you want to put you'll see a long link you'll see your long ugly link will be in there you will get rid of it control V put your new domain in there open your new window update then what you want to do to make sure it's saved properly because it'll try and make it track but it won't track properly mine saved it because I've already done it you might see it'll look really funny just get rid of it if it does again you can even select it all delete control V again to paste update okay so you want to go in and just you know tidy it up delete it there's too many thingies there's another one hyperlink if it's a long ugly landing page link put your new subdomain I'll do it again get rid of it I've already fixed mine up but just so you see update then again you want to check to make sure it's saved it properly mine it has because I've already gone through this process <laughs> you can see what I mean on another video when I did it okay update <coughs> so you want to do that you know maybe personalize a little bit with your name don't go butchering the the follow-ups but you do want to make it sound like you and, and take the time so it looks okay now in the first follow-up too okay it's going to say professional team overview video to use in your marketing efforts okay so you want to click on that as well okay and that will be your landing page again okay your high converting landing page you might even have the old landing page there in your follow-ups and if so you want to use the high converting one check again make sure it's saved it properly <coughs> yeah okay it has update then it's going to say one of the bonuses dozens of custom team sales pages customized with your affiliate code click here to see an example I'm going to open that here okay the one that was in the follow-up for memory was one that didn't work very well now this you don't have to create a subdomain for but I chose uh, Def Dave story for this one so I want to show you where you can go to get that you just go into prosperity team okay marketing center follow-up pages testimonials the tale of three days that's the one you want you want to select that copy okay then you want to go it's the only one you have to do this with on the first one back I think it's number eight bonus so you go and select it click here for an example insert edit link now I'm going to delete this select all when there's a long one that's all you do control V to paste and I'm going to get rid of that little tag things I don't need that either 
update. Then what I'm going to do <coughs> is check to make sure it's saved it properly. Yes, it has. Okay. Now what I'm going to do to save time is I'm just going to go to my text version and put it there wherever it was as well. Okay, so wherever the dozens of custom whatever it is, a seven or eight, I'm just going to put it there to save time so I don't have to go and copy and paste it later. Okay, but first <coughs> you want to fix up your HTML. Okay, fix it up looking pretty. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the font. I'm going to increase it to paragraph because people need to see it. Arial. Here we go, and I'm going to put it to font family, by the way, Arial. Sometimes it doesn't save it, so you might need to do it a couple of times. And then four, okay? So people can see it properly. And I'll just make sure it's saved it properly there. Four, four, please. Yes, okay. Might be better for you to see it that way too. <laughs> okay, so there you can see that it's increased it. So you want to do that. Checking to make sure it looks good. This one here, for example, I had the Empower Network, going to the Empower Network video, you can do what you want. Let's have a look here. Alrighty. So you just want to tidy it up, make sure it looks nice. Okay. You know, and wherever it has your landing page, go and fix it and put your subdomain. Okay. Then I even put, like it's not in the follow-up, then get started with me here today. Okay. So over there, you can put your join link. Okay, so if you had join dot whatever, you'd put it there. I've got the winning starts here dot biz, but you could put join dot tomscash dot com, whatever one you did for your join. That's why I had it there in the notepad. You can hyperlink it for that update. Now, the other part that's important, this is why you don't need the signature. I'll show you in a minute. If you want to make sure you have a pretty signature, okay, so you want to get a little photo of yourself, okay, and add it to your signature. So you'll have to your prosperity, your name, and a little cool photo of yourself. It's me with my daughter there. I often change it. And you may have seen in one of my other videos, all you do to do an image, it's very simple. You go to tinypick, tinypick.com, <coughs> okay, and you can choose a file from your computer, okay, so pick whatever computer you want. Where is it? Try that again. Tiny picks taking me somewhere strange. Doesn't usually do that. So, look. okay. So you'll choose a file from your computer. I'll show you what I mean. Go to a picture. So let's say this one. That's the one I want to use. Open. Then you just go upload. It'll say to play, so you're not there, so then type in broken record. <laughs> Whatever it tells you to type in, type in, upload. <coughs> okay, and this is the direct link. Okay, so that would be the image. And how you add an image again to GBO, so you want to do this in your signature. Okay, is wherever you want the image, so I'm going to get rid of this image. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay. Wherever you want to add the image, you just put it. So it'll be after my name and my signature. Then you just go insert edit image. The image URL there. Okay. And I'm going to insert it, see what it looks like. Okay. Too big. Too big. Okay. So I'm going to just click on it to select it. <coughs> insert edit. Go to appearance. I really want a thumbnail, so I might go one, maybe 200. We'll see how what size that looks. Update, okay. That's a bit better, but still a bit big, okay. So I'll do this. Again, edit, appearance. I'll go 150, thumbnail. Update. Okay, once I've got the picture looking, see that looks a lot better, okay. Making sure it looks okay. What I like to do is put my join link on my picture. <coughs> so what you would do is you'll go to your little notepad. That's why you want to be organized with all your links there. As you work through your follow-ups, you can just get them. And get your subdomain that you've got for your join page. Okay. 
Now, I've actually got a separate domain. I'm just trying to save you money here because I only learned about subdomains a while ago. And mine's the winning, the winning starts here.biz is for my join, but you would use whatever. I also use join as well on my FB, for example. But here we go. Control C to select. Go back to your follow up. Then what you want to do is select it. Then back to insert edit link. <coughs> now I'm going to put my join link, the professional one, and I'm going to put open a new window. And then title, I'm going to say work directly with me here. Okay. And then I'm going to insert. Now I'm going to double check it. Okay. I'm going to go again, insert edit link. Now you're going to see what I'm talking about. It does all these weird things to, to, to thingy. I don't even like it. So I'm just going to select all, get rid of it, and paste in my join link again. Update. Now I'm going to make sure it's updated properly. Yes, it has. Okay. Taking this extra step to put in your photo and everything, it makes all the difference in the world and it won't be there in the follow-ups. And tidying it up so it looks nice doesn't look like where am i have i done that one yet to give you an example one of these okay you don't want to looking like that no 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 you want it looking beautiful you're a professional after all okay <coughs> so here we go back to my gbo um the HTML is the one that's going to take the most time, but it's worth it. This is why you didn't know, need, don't need global fields or anything because you're going to put your subdomain to your landing page and your join link in it. I like to have a little tagline, helping people break the chains of generational poverty in all of its forms because that's my vision, okay? But what I also like to do is add, visit my blog, connect with me on Facebook, okay? So how you would do that is after your photo, you might have your little tagline. You might not have a tagline at all. like You could get rid of it. Okay, and just put visit my blog, connect with me on Facebook. Well, how you would do that, you'll just type after it. You know, where are we? Forms. Okay, you'll just type it. Okay, oh, it's going to select it again because I've already got it. Visit my, you know, my blog. Blog. Okay. Then obviously you would put it in the same font, everything else, and then all you do <coughs> to, is just hyperlink it. So for example, mine's already hyperlinked. I just select to hyperlink. And what I do, instead of sending people to my main blog, I just send them to one of my blog posts. Okay. So again, you would update, visit your blog. Okay. Send them to one of your blog link posts. Okay. It's just better that way. And then another one, connect with me with me on Facebook. Same thing. You would have your Facebook, you know, account, page, whatever you use. I've got a domain that redirects to my Facebook. One day when I have a page, it'll re redirect to that. Don't even have a page. Here we go. Why? You want people, what will happen is when people get onto your list, they're going to spy on you. <laughs> okay, they're going to think, oh, wow, whoa, okay. You're going to stand out right away if you do this. They'll check out your blog, you know, and get to know you that way. Connect with you on Facebook. It'll help with your conversions. You look more professional than if you have, to your success, Christina Munoz, and that's it. Nothing there, okay? So you really want to take the effort to do that. And I'll sh show you, once you do the work with the first one, it's actually simpler. And I'll show you, you won't have to keep putting the photo, adding it. I'll show you what to do so that you can just copy and paste it always in your HTML and you'll be fine. <clears throat> so really the most of the work is in that the first follow-up that you're fixing after that you'll be able to use it as a bit of a template to help you fix up everything else so then you go to your ps and you fix all that <clears throat> okay then you go to your text okay so what you want to do instead of the long link wherever the long link is get rid of it and put your new landing page link okay instead of the long link so if it's um where are we? Video winning starts here.com, whatever it is, you will copy and paste it. For me, it's 1000 per day webinar.com. So instead of having that long link everywhere, okay, with your global field at the end of it. So if you, wherever you see, I'll show you this sort of thing, okay, <laughs> you want to delete it and put your professional one on there, okay? So I'll go over here 
and I've already done it really but you, you see what I'm saying you just go through the text get rid of it if it doesn't have for example dum bum nice little arrow to get to the domain it may not often they don't add that that tells people to go and click on the link okay so if you just see the long link like this okay now nah, get rid of the whole thing put equals equals little arrow arrow boom put it in far more professional you get more people clicking through if you do that so you'll just go through <coughs> and fix up your links and make sure it's all there okay all the way through then even at the end this is why you didn't need your signature you can put your signature in yourself there and obviously there's no photo with the text but what I like to do is to your prosperity Christina Munoz my tag then I put my blog www you know ht always put the http dot dot forward slash forward slash not just www w that's another tip type the whole thing okay otherwise it won't work properly for some browsers so you type the whole thing and I have my blog and then my Facebook there so people can still connect with me on Facebook and so on okay so once you've made the changes okay and you've edited it what you want to do is then click edit and then you want to test it you know you want to test your first um where am I test it send it to yourself okay here we go alrighty okay beautiful I got three thousand dollars this morning. Look at that one oh nine a.m. in the morning. Three thousand actual facts. You got all in. Okay, bought the fifteen k five hundred and everything. So this is going to be you. And part of how is because I do professional follow up. Okay, so I want this is why I'm teaching you this. But believe you me, you do this. It's going to help you get better conversions. Okay. Now, where am I? I'm testing it sometimes. GVO is one of the reasons why I use Aweber is GVO sometimes delays the email, but you need to test it. Come here. Don't need that. So look. Come on. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. This is not actually testing your system. I'm going to show you how to test your system. But you want to test every follow-up as you do it. And, um, yeah, pick, so you can pick up anything. And then I'll show you how to test your system in a minute. Okay. Just give me a moment. Maybe it's gone into my sent mail. No. Okay. So are you having a nice day? <laughs> you love it okay do you usually take this long <laughs> i really want to show you okay all righty <laughs> if it takes this long go ahead and start working on your other follow-up <laughs> okay so if it takes this long to come through okay then go ahead and start working on your other follow-ups so you go edit okay <laughs> right and away you go again okay you'll fix up all the spacing and so on and, and do all of that that I just showed you before okay you'll see the same photo there all right that I've got there and uh, go ahead <laughs> and fix that okay and then when you have you just click edit okay and then test again and keep doing that okay um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it now okay test Okay, sent. Let's see if that first one came through. Oh, the second one did. Okay, let's have a little look. Yep, here we go. That, good. The second one came through. Fantastic. All right. The first one didn't. Why didn't it go through? I'm going to go back and try it again. Test. Okay, let's see if it comes through now. interesting the second came through right away <coughs> okay all right regardless you want to display images and here's a little tip you want to see what looks right so you can see that it's come through okay my end alrighty okay then what you want to do to save time is you just copy 
your signature okay and then go and put it in your second message so I wish the first one came through properly but all you would do again you test you have a look so you want to make sure it goes to the your link your subdomain there don't need to go to everything but you just want to have a little look yeah that's all okay then because you're going to be adding your signature again okay with your blog and your Facebook you copy it like that then you can just go when you're ready to edit your second message in GVO that will just save you time you won't have to add your image again and what have you you know so I can see my second image needs a little bit of um, fixing up it's not too bad okay so I'll do that get rid of that for example whatever it was just paste it comes in nicely all right and I'll just tidy it up like that I use my Aweber now so I didn't really worry about fixing it see you don't even have to have a little tagline and get rid of that and have it look like that instead okay totally up to you when you fix it so then you won't have to worry about um having to hyperlink it and all of that you can just copy your signature over and over as you edit all of them so all you do is you do that then edit okay and it'll make it easier when you're setting up your other funnels too okay because you'll always just have your join link on your photo and that remains the same no matter what funnel you're setting up except maybe your ipass kit okay <clears throat> That first one still hasn't come through. But it doesn't matter. It's the same sort of thinking. So what you do is maybe go ahead and then while you're in it, go ahead and update the first five until you can't possibly do any more. Okay. <laughs> do you think that's enough? I've had it. I need a break. Once you've gone ahead and tidied up your first five or six or however many that you want to do, this is what you do to go and test your system. This is how important it is. Okay. You go to your lead capture page. So what you want to do, is go here and your lead capture page you want to go to the domain you registered because that's what you're going to advertise okay that you should have redirecting to your long link there okay then you just want to op open up a new browser paste it and it'll take you to your lead capture page link okay then you want to enter your email okay and I'm gonna enter one which one will I enter? Because I've actually got mine attached to Aweber. Um, all righty, give me a second. I'm just going to remove myself off my list. Okay, where am I? I'm just going to remove myself off my list to get on there fresh so you can see what I'm saying. It's more complicated with Aweber. I'll show you where you go to remove yourself in GVO. And okay, just gonna remove myself. Because when your <coughs> email is already in a system, it will recognize it, whether it's Aweber or GVO, and it won't add you again. Okay. So when you're testing a system, I've just added myself off. I'm going to now enter myself in as if I was a lead. This is how you test a system. Gmail.com. Now, what am I checking? Okay. I want to make sure it's taking me to my high converting landing page. All right. See that? I want to make sure that goes to my join link. So I'll pause him. Yep, it's my page. I've got it masked. It's okay to mask. Okay. But here, click here to get started today. I want to check to make sure it's going to my join link how do you know you go and click on it Christina Munoz prosperity team referring you fill it great that means it's working okay that's what your lead will go through so if you haven't watched the video watch it so you know what your leads will be seeing and make sure you do that the next thing you do when you go to leave page next thing you do when you go to while you're testing your system is then check to make sure your first follow-up came through okay <coughs> So even though you tested your first follow-up, you still want to make sure it comes through and you'll check it again, okay? So I've got Aweber attached with mine. Yep, looks fantastic, all good, okay? Looks fantastic, I'm very happy, all right. 
So what you want to do is add yourself as your first subscriber on your list. That's basically what you've done. So if your first follow-up looks good, okay, and then you'll get your second follow-up in a couple of days or whatever and check them because you, while you're when you're editing a bunch of different follow-ups, okay, you may miss something. We're all normal. It can happen. But if you're the first person on your list, if, say, the deaf man's best day comes out to you or what have you, and you see something's not right, okay, you can fix it, okay? So you can, if an image is going to the wrong link or whatever it may be, you can go ahead and fix it and then update it right here in Messages, Edit, Update, um, before your leads actually get it, okay? So what you will do is once you've got your Prosperity Team system all ready to go and set, even if you've only updated, say, five of the messages, well, as long as it's ready to go, you can go ahead. If you're qualified up to the 15K, get some done for you traffic. If you're all in, get your done for you traffic and activate your PBA and start getting some leads in, okay? And then just go ahead and make it a goal to update all the rest of the follow-ups. <coughs> and once you've set up your prosperity team system, okay, and tested it, then you can just go back, okay, and follow and instructions in the sketch setup, sales funnels, to set up the Pizza Boy Millionaire system, okay? Select the autoresponder, GVO, it will give you the campaign code, you'll paste it, okay? And then the same way that you've tidied up your follow-ups and everything with your prosperity team that I've shown you, you would do the same thing with your Pizza Boy, okay? It's just the same process. It'll take you the longest with the first one, but once you've set up a couple of funnels, you'll then just, um, It'll be really, really easy for you, okay? So take the time to do that. That way, when your emails go out, okay, they're not going to look like those ugly ones I showed you. They're going to look nice and professional, presenting you as the way it's meant to be. And then that means, okay, you'll get better conversions, okay? You just will. So I hope this video helps you. I've also got another video that shows you how to broadcast to your list. So the minute you're starting to get leads, how to send broadcast messages and everything. So this one <coughs> just shows you how to tidy up your follow-ups, how to have subdomains in your follow-ups so you look professional and get a domain, and how to test your system. So obviously, after you set up your pizza boy, and you would go into your... Where are we? Marketing center. Okay. And where are we? Sales funnels. When you're ready to do that. And you do the same thing. You'll get your lead capture page link, your millionaire landing. You put it in your little notebook, you know. And there you don't really need to do a .com. You could maybe call it, create a subdomain, pizzaboy.tomscash.com. And then for your landing page, call it pizzaboyvideo dot tomscash.com so you got 99 domains you don't have to keep registering more dot coms just use your subdomains and redirect one to your lead, lead catch page one to your landing page get yourself organized exactly as you did with the prosperity team system that i showed you and then once you have got that sorted okay and you know the how to do it there in the marketing center in the training center training center under basic with how to register your domain and what have you and mask your domains over here, get your own unique domain, okay, you can then go ahead and fix up your, your domain names, your follow-ups the same way, okay, you just go through your Pizza Boy follow-ups, okay, and then you just do the same process and the same process, so I hope this helps you, okay, feel free to share this training with your teams, have fun setting up your funnels, here's the good news, once your funnels are set up, you never have to set them up again, okay, <laughs> they're done, they're done and dusted, you don't have to set them up again, the hard work's been done, but this extra step is something you really don't have to do. You could just do what Adam showed you, have the long links with your global URL, no photo, no visit my blog, no come on me Facebook, no looking pretty. But I know if you take that extra care and go to the effort to get some professional domains and subdomains and go to the effort to tidy up your follow-ups uh, before your subscribers get them, you'll get much better conversions if you do that. And, and um, it'll be part of how... You know, you can wake up in the morning and, you know, have a 3,000 come through at 1 o'clock while you're sleeping, okay? This is part of how you can make that magic happen. So I hope that helps you. Again, share this with your team, and I'll be back again soon. Bye.